Hey, what up, y'all? Big Daddy here, Duke Southern Grill. So, we're about to shoot another video. Um, we're making some smoked chicken today. Uh, we're not doing a whole smoked chicken. I'm actually going to be showing y'all how to cut it up into eight pieces. I'm doing two birds today. I'm going to show you how to cut it up into eight pieces. Um, start the smoker, get the fire going, get the smoke rolling, as they say, and um, get the chicken on it. So, to begin, I just wanted to say it's been a long time. For those who have missed the videos, my bad. Um, I got a little bit of other things I'm, I'm, I'm getting into. Y'all see those things I'm going to post um, in the comments so y'all have links to the other ventures I've been working on. But like, subscribe, share, follow, and all of that. So to get started, we have a chicken here. All right, and we're going to cut this bad boy up. But babe, just to make sure, because I already cut the first bird, we are recording. Yes. All right. That's my wife, y'all. Ren, and she's my camera person for this for this uh, afternoon. <laughs> so to get started, I got the chicken um, breast side up. I'm cutting right in between the two breasts. You want to make sure that your scissors are nice and sharp. And please be careful. And if you're um, young... A lot of YouTubers are, are are very young. Don't don't do this. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't go playing around with this sharp stuff and you know get yourself hurt. Cause if you see these are going through bone easy, they will chop off a finger. I'm gonna turn it over. Cut along the backbone. You can actually hear the bones cracking. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Children and people who are not experienced, please just buy it by eight piece. <laughs> <laughs> buy eight piece and say you smoke. What are you going to do with that? The back? Mm-hmm. Or the back going on the grill. Oh, okay. That's just going to smoke just along with everything else. For the dog? Yeah, right. <laughs> that. So now we have the breast, wing, and the thigh leg portion. Cut those right in half. Just a little piece of skin there. Cut that. Find a... Little joint piece right here in between the thigh and the leg. Like I said, please be careful. You cut right in between that joint. The wing is a little bit more tricky. Right in between, if you pull it back right here. There's a little socket. You can actually put your thumb into it. That's where you want to start to get some of the skin away. Because once you do that, it'll be a lot easier for you to find that joint. And once you find that joint, cutting is, is real smooth. I know my wife over there, but I, I hear you. I hear you thinking. What you what you want to say? Well, I'm thinking, is this more conducive of a, a family budget, and just take the time and cut it up versus buying thigh and leg quarters? Well, if you buy the the, the leg quarter, first of all, you ain't gonna get breast and wing. That's true. You know what I'm saying? And um, so if you wanted a variety, you would actually have to buy, you know, a pack of thighs legs, wings, etc. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, would that be more cost efficient, you're asking? Yeah. No, it's more costly. Where, um, you know, these are five pounds each that I'm working with here. And um, they only cost $10 for the two birds, 16 pieces of chicken. 
that's not bad. And you could always cut up in what you don't need. You can put in a freezer until you do need it, right? Yeah. I mean, chicken freezes very well. But um, I'm actually going to shred some of this down once it's done smoking and uh, use it for, you know, my barbecue chicken sandwich. Oh, that's going to be good. Are you making hot slaw? You know it. You know it. And sometimes this joint is a little bit more difficult. But just use your thumb as a guide, get your thumb out the way, <laughs> cut around the skin. Ideal is to have a nice wing cut off, but um, what's more important? Your fingers, right? Another thing too I think that is important, well, I don't know if your viewers know, I didn't know until you told me, is that regular scissors do not work with us. <laughs> no, <Nah. laughs> not the right type. But I mean, just so y'all, you know, so y'all can see at home, you know, um, I'm about six feet, I'm a big dude, nice size hands. This is a, like I said, this is not a tiny bird. Look at his breast. That's a nice piece of meat, you know what I'm saying? So you're not gonna get a skimpy piece of meat for y'all men out there for your husbands out there for your wives watching this cooking for your husbands like oh my husband like you know big pieces of meat that you're not gonna get no skimpy pieces of meat even the wings are are pretty decent but next thing that's gonna happen is my brine all right start it just wanted to show y'all large bowl this is a, a six quart bowl i have about a half a gallon of water in here and um a quarter cup of uh, kosher salt sea salt slime whatever um the thing that you want to do whatever salt you use um use warm water and dis uh, dissolve the salt so stir it up till you don't see any more salt and then you just put your pieces see that's the back to the other bird now what does the brine do the brine mm -hmm. my mom uses all the brine do they watch me all the time now the brine is going to keep this chicken nice and juicy see that that's a big breast it's going to keep the chicken nice and juicy the salt Although some may say that, seem to think that there may be a lot of salt. Remember, it's you're not going to use all of this water. And that's where most of the salt is located. So the water infuses inside of the chicken, keeping it juicy and then flavoring the meat as well. So I'm going to get the other bird up in this bowl right here. And you want to refrigerate this at least six hours. Overnight is, is preferable. But when you take it out, remember, give it a good rinse. And then um, I'm going to show you all the next step when I come back. Y'all be easy. So we got the smoker going. Um, it's not rolling yet because as you see, the, the smoke is still a little bit too, too white as gray. You want that to clear up and that's when it's gonna be ready to, to put the meat on it. Um, for those who don't know, I have not done this yet. Um, I use coal, uh, I suggest you use it too. Charcoal is a little bit more expensive and it burns a lot faster than coal does. So um, maybe about half a pound of coal, cause I'm only doing some chicken, half a pound of coal get that nice and, 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 and gray got that blue color on it and then I got my, my wood in there I'm burning mesquite today so this is gonna start rolling and then we are gonna come back when it's time to season up the chicken because it's it's nice and brined and, and ready to go by the way y'all will I will show y'all the bags of coal as well as the wood that I use uh, for this chicken be easy All right, so we are back. We are in the kitchen. The smoke is doing what it's supposed to do. As smoke always does what it's supposed to do when it's done, right? But if this is your first time or around your first time using a smoker, a lot of things could go wrong. Um, the type of wood, any extra moisture, anything like that, just don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a, a lot of things that you, you shouldn't do. Um, remember, using lighter fluid, Although it's an easy and quick start and it can work, however, um, it can leave a smell and a taste in your meat. Uh, you may not taste it, but a lot of people have finicky uh, taste buds than you do. And um, if their taste buds are more finicky, then what do you think is going to happen? 
you know, they'll taste it. And if you're trying to, you know, have a little side hustle or starting up in a catering or whatever, or, or bringing on smoking into your existing restaurant, it's not going to go over well. So, um, and also for those who are time chiming in now, I didn't say it before. My smoker that I'm using is um, the barrel smoker with the um, offset smoke box. Uh, I, I just ever ever since I started to smoke, that's the type of smoker I use. A lot of people like the vertical ones, and some you know have the shells. So whatever, whatever, whatever you're used to smoking with or smoking on, rather use that. Also, you can um, hit me up and get some of this. Let I, me zoom in on that. For I'll zoom in on that. All right, this is Duke's Southern Grills line of sauces, spices, and herbs. You can find that on my um, What's Really Good blog. I'll leave that link in the comments so y'all could check that out and, and purchase some of that. I'm also getting some um, merchandise up in there, like T-shirts and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to hear some of my funny sayings, I mean, not hear, but wear some of my funny sayings that y'all hear when I'm shooting. So to start off, though, I'm going to put some of Big Daddy's pepper sauce. It's a good sauce, yeah. Southern heat. A little mm. bit goes a long don't way. Need, don't need a lot. Matter of fact, I should have shipped out a little bit. So I'm going to have a little bit more. Don't need a whole lot because, like my wife says, it goes a long way. And also, my sauce that I make does not have sugar in it. So cooking it. You know, cooking with it on the grill or the smoker, it's not going to burn like um, sauces that have a lot of sugar on it. I'm going to give you all a um, basic seasoning recipe for this chicken on the, on the, on the comments. I'm not going to give you all Big Daddy's, but you all can purchase Big Daddy's poultry seasoning if you want. But don't worry, I'm not I'm not gonna give y'all something that's nasty. I wouldn't do that. Because that's just not how I get down. I love cooking. My wife and I was just talking about that. Chefing is a passion of mine. After God and my family, of course. So it smells good. All like the that? seasonings, yeah. Thank you. So, if they have little ones, and this is going to be going on the smoker when it's ready, obviously it's not going to be done as quick as it would if you were just regular grilling. Should they just maybe put some hot dogs on to satisfy the little ones? I mean, the thing about kids, as you know, you fill their little bellies, then they're not going to eat. So, if you're smoking, then you know that it's going to take a little bit longer. You know, because you're looking at temperatures of like 220 where indoors, if you do this in the oven, you look, you know, 350 or a little higher. Mm -hmm. So you would start this early. That's all. Okay. You feed them bellies and you come on, man. You know, you got four kids. What are they going to do? Waste the food. Yeah. Gosh, I just all of a sudden feel really old right now. Oh, talking about your food? <laughs> I know. Our youngest is almost 16. No, that's okay. I still love you. You are old, though. I love you, too. <laughs> You're older than me, though. Don't forget yeah, watch that. Watch your mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See? You see? That's why. You know what? This is your last time. <laughs> Telling Big Daddy's business like that. I'm going to mix this up. Oh, before my wife started talking about the... The feeding the kids things, I was about to say as a recap, remember, once you get the chicken out of that brine, you want to give it a rinse. Why? Well, because that's some salt water. You don't want all that extra salt on your, on your chicken. Okay. Yeah. Or any meat. So there we go. I'm about to go outside, see what the smoke is looking like. It should be nice and, and clear. On a nice day, you actually see that blue tint to it. That's what's up. That's what you really want to see. And if it's like that, then we're going to come back when I get the chicken on the grill or the smoker. Y'all be easy. Okay. Jess, you got this? Mm hmm. You got that nice close up? I got that nice close up. All right, y'all. Just want to let y'all know it's a halfway point. You know what I'm saying? Everything looking good. The smoke is still rolling. So I'm going to come back 
and uh, let y'all see what it's looking like when we're done. All right, we're about about an hour in or so. Look All right, smoke. be easy. What up, y'all? So, there it is. Smoked chicken. A 16-piece. Tell you, like I said earlier, this chicken cost me $10. With the wood um, cost and, and the, the coal cost, I'm looking at about 16 bucks. 16 bucks for a 16-piece meal? Come on, KFC, Popeyes, ain't nobody doing that there. And you're at home. You're enjoying it. You're teaching your kids something. You're learning something new. You're having fun. I mean, yo, ain't that what it's about nowadays? You're trying to survive and you're trying to maintain it at the same time. We have a lot of time on our hands due to this virus. Why not learn to do something? Why not keep yourself occupied with something that is beneficial and doesn't hurt anybody else? And watching my videos is one of those things. <laughs> now, I'm only playing, y'all, uh, but I'm serious, too. Watch my videos. But, now, nah, let's do what makes us happy as long as what makes us happy is beneficial, not just to ourselves. That's a selfish way of thinking. Let's knock the YOLO way out of, out of our vocabulary, all right? We shouldn't have never adopted that. Let's knock it out. Home run. So, chicken, smoked, about to sit down with the family and devour this bird right here. I hope y'all are doing the same when y'all um, take the time to watch this video and take down the recipe and everything because it's well worth it. If y'all can smell my kitchen right now. It's, it smells so good. Th thank you, baby. Thank do you, you want me to do a close-up? Um, you know what? I'm going to have you get a shot. So okay. It ain't even on it. So I want to thank y'all for following. Remember thank that, you. That, that what's really good blog that I got going on right now. Remember the sauces and the spices is for sale. Y'all can either catch it on the blog or catch it at, on my um. Um, my website, do whatever you do, as long as you like and subscribe, following and sharing everything DSDs. Yo, it's a crazy world out there. Y'all be safe, be easy.